Hi guys, welcome to Bhano Talks. Guys, if you are coming first time on this channel, I would request you to kindly hit that subscribe button and also press the bell icon along with so that you get the notification of my videos as soon as possible I upload the video. Now guys, we all use smartphones and the smartphones are sort of become uh, the lifeline of our daily life. Now, since the technology is advancing day by day by leaps and bounds, so the technologies which are coming in this uh, uh, smartphone screen technology, the technologies which are coming in the laptops, the technologies which are coming in your mobile phones, the technologies which are coming in your television sets, every technology is changing our world. But today what we are going to talk about is a SIM card. That is rather to be very particular, we are going to talk about what is the eSIM card and why in the recently concluded Apple event, the Apple have announced that they are going to use dual SIM cards, uh, rather dual SIM phones uh, with physical trays in China and in other parts of the world, they are using an eSIM card. So what is this eSIM card? Why Apple is preferring this eSIM card? This is the hot topic, hot trend of today. So what this is what we are going to discuss today. So let's start the video of this, this short intro. Uh, let me first tell you what an e-SIM card is. Now see, e-SIM card means electronic SIM card or an embedded SIM card. E stands for electronic or embedded, whatever you can call it, uh, you can like it. It is called an electronic or an embedded SIM card. Now, since our earlier days, we were using first came normal SIM cards, then came your micro SIM card, then nano SIM card and after the evolution of nano SIM card, now we are going to use eSIM cards. Now, why all the companies all over the world are now guys, the first thing which is to be kept in mind is that these eSIM cards are nothing but, uh, these are the replacement of the physical SIM cards which uh, are placed in our mobile phones. But how these eSIM cards are different is that these eSIM cards are rather placed on the motherboard of the phone itself. That is, these cards are placed embedded on the motherboard, soldered on the motherboard of the phone. So uh, instead of putting a physical SIM card in a physical tray, the manufacturer, while manufacturing the mobile phone, has placed this very, very small size of, rather you can say it is even 40% small than a nano SIM card. Yes, it is even 40%. And that particular SIM card is placed on the motherboard of your phone. It is embedded in the motherboard of our phone. Now, since it is very small in size, but what about the acceptability all over the world? Guys, let me tell you that this eSIM cards, these have been approved by GSMA, which is GSM Mobile Operator Association, and it supports nearly 800 telecom companies all over the world. Now, these eSIM cards, which we are talking about, the embedded SIM card or the electronic SIM card, this electronic SIM card has recently been uh, used by Apple in the recently announced iPhone R, iPhone XS and iPhone XS Max. Now, what the difference of uh, difference is that the phones which would come in China, they would be having two physical SIM cards, that is you will have a SIM tray in which there will be two physical SIM cards like in our Android phones. But for the other phones which are going to be shipped all over the world, depending upon the operator of that particular country, uh, those one will be an eSIM card and second will be your a physical SIM card which will be inserted in, uh, inside the SIM tray. So this eSIM card is going to be used by Apple uh, all over the world nowadays. Now, since you all know that Apple uses the technology which is one of the latest technology in the world and without knowing its benefits, it never accepts any technology because it has a huge fan following all over the world. Now guys, even earlier to this uh, uh, iPhone XS or iPhone R or iPhone XS Max, uh, Apple uh, has used this uh, uh, eSIM card in its uh, Apple Watch Series 3, Samsung has used it in Gear S2. And even the last year announced Google Pixel 2, that also used this eSIM card. So day by day, these eSIM cards are becoming popular all over the world. Now, the question which comes to our mind is, 
that why the companies are using these e-SIM cards over the physical SIM cards and what is there in this e-SIM card. Now guys, since I have told you that this e-SIM card is nothing but a very small piece of uh, a SIM card which is placed right inside your motherboard. It is soldered inside the motherboard. So it provides us a number of advantages. The number one advantage is that it saves the precious space in the mobile phone which with that space which has been used by that physical sim tray that space is free now you can the manufacturer can use some other component or it can enhance the battery capacity by using a bigger battery capacity uh, in the mobile phone second uh, the good thing about this e-sim cards is that these are programmable sim cards now what do we mean by programmable sim cards programmable sim cards i mean to say guys that in case of a physical sim card we have to go to the store you have to buy a new sim card activate the new sim card and then you get the signals but in case of these e-sim cards the process is very simple you buy a new phone say you have bought a new iphone or an android phone now the same is itself there in the mobile phone once you uh, uh, say uh, power on your mobile phone and it is connected to a Wi-Fi network simply you have to go into the settings of the mobile phone and in the settings you have to select the number one operator which you want to choose like if you want to choose uh, Geo you want to choose Airtel you want to use Sprint, AT&T, Talon or any operator which is there in the country you select the operator then you select your data plan which you want to use simply you have to select these two, two things you have to select your operator you have to select your data plan and that's that's it guys your sim is then activated by the that particular operator which you have chosen over the air yes by simply uh, you can say by uh, the programming over the air your sim card is activated so this gives you a huge huge advantage of not going to the physical store another uh, advantage of uh, this sim cards is that since this is already inserted in the motherboard the manufacturer there is for the manufacturer there is no need to use a physical sim tray there is no need for the manufacturer to provide you with a pin uh, to open that sim tray and insert that sim card in it and sometimes even people lose that pin and there is a problem in opening the sim tray also one of the major advantages of this e-sim card is that while international traveling if you are traveling to some other country uh, you don't have to go to a physical store as i told you you simply select the operator of that particular country select the data plane and there you go you can call so this is how an e-sim card is advantageous over a physical sim card guys number of advantages very small in space huge huge you can say uh, comfort level with this uh, e-sim card for the manufacturer for the users as well that's why it is becoming popular all over the world and as the time will pass on we will see more and more e-sim cards in our mobile phones in our smart watches in our tablets and all our internet of thing devices so guys this is what i wanted to tell you in this video that what an e-sim card is i hope that you have got the idea that what an e-sim card is and how it works if still you have any doubt let me know please uh, tell me that in the comments box and if you like you can watch the video again and if you still have any doubts kindly contact me in the comments box and would be i would be more than happy to uh, solve your queries and give you answers which uh, increase your knowledge so guys thank you for watching bono talks thank you for taking your taking out your time thanks guys thank you very much have a nice day have a wonderful day